yeah. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest. Of I just me. wanna be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my notes. Call me aggressive with my flow. Call me offensive, even though. Joe, I ain't gonna lie, life's tough. Try to get by, life's rough. Try to do it right, it's not enough. Even though you try, you still mess up. So, right, what you're working on today? Uh, today we have a shoulder, so I will start with the shoulder press. This regular shoulder press, like five sets of shoulder press. I will do a pyramid with Arnold press, four sets of Arnold press, and uh, also with the next exercise. For what I love, still gonna try, I won't give up. Still gonna fight until I've won. They say I'm way too obsessed, and I've got nothing left, and I'm not quite. Which settings do you prefer to do your shoulder press on in the bench? Just the regular settings, around 85 degree angle, like this. But if I want to focus more on my front delts. Around 75, 75 to 85. What about the rear delts? For the rear delts, we have other exercise for the rear delts. We'll do it later. What is the reason you prefer doing pyramid sets in your first movement? Just to shock the muscles. On my first set, increase the blood flow to the muscles. Now we're switching Arnold press. Control going down. Slow and controlled negatives. Squeeze those delts. <sighs> Next exercise will be behind the back, side lateral brace. What is the main reason you do partial wrap? Same thing, to increase the blood flow to the muscles, shock the muscles, shoot out all the nutrients into the muscles that you are targeting. Partials? They are doing What are you thinking for your next movement? Next move, front delts. We'll do cable front delts using the rope. I love to switch with the ropes, cables, and the dumbbells. It's better if you have more variations during your training. Let's 
Let's do it. How many sets you have left for the front cable size? One more set, then full wraps, five partial wraps. Do it. What is next? Next we will isolate the front delts. We're still on the front delts, but we will switch to dumbbells. So underhand front race with dumbbells. In this it says, do you need to go light or heavy? It's better to start light first. We are bench assisted, slightly inclined. On this move you cannot use any momentum. It's more focus on the shoulders. Some guys on standing, they are doing very heavy weights but they are using too much momentum, they are jerking too much with the legs and it's not good for the shoulders, We're working the shoulders, not on the legs, let's go. What is the reason you're doing underhand in this size? Uh, the reason why I'm doing underhand grip instead of the neutral grip is uh, it focuses more on the front belt and the upper backs. So it recruits more muscle fibers on the front delts and the upper backs instead of doing the neutral. Uh, I saw this uh, underhand move uh, from Kai Green. First time I saw it as Kai Green doing it and I noticed that it works for me. So I'm sticking to underhand grip most of the time. Because I also have a weak upper chest that uh, I need to work on. So it's really good. I should try it. Give it a shot. Try to hold it for at least one second. On the top of the contraction. Take it slowly going down. All the way down. Up. All the way down. Stretch your front delts. Upper back. We'll do rear delts now? Yeah, next workout will be rear delts. Very important. Most guys are just neglecting the rear delts because they're not seeing it. You're supersetting? What exactly? Bent over, reverse fly with the dumbbells, and then we'll superset it. What is the reason you put your feet on that plate? To get leverage? Yeah. It's just to get leverage and to have a better resistance from the rope. You should focus more on the targeting your rear delts, mind muscle connection. Because it's hard to train the back because you cannot see it. So the best thing to do is feel it. You have to feel it. Mind muscle connection. So, are you now doing an exercise and applying FST7 to it? Yeah. What does it actually do? It increases the blood flow into the muscles, so more oxygen, more nutrients are 
being transported to the muscles that you are targeting. So, and also you are recruiting more <laughs> muscle fibers for growth. Do you advise on applying FST7 oftenly in a week or rarely? I suggest you should apply it like one muscle part each week. Like for example, this week you will do FST7 on your chest. The following week you can do FST7 on your back exercise or shoulder exercise. It's like a one FST7 move each week and one muscle part. Do you have like a lagging muscle part? Like for me, I need to catch up on my chest, so I'm always incorporating FST7 on my chest. So if you have a weak biceps, or if you want to catch up with your biceps, you can apply FST7 on your biceps on your training. This was the final 7th set. Yeah, okay, the final 7th set. But I still have energy, so we'll do some shrugs and upright rows for the traps. Let's do it. The dumbbell upright rows and the dumbbell shrugs. So we'll start with the upright rows. It will hit the traps? Yeah. So try to hold. Pause for one second, all the way down. Up, control negatives. Explosive, positives. Up. About doing shrug, do you advise on shrugging your shoulders to front or to backwards? So I recommend just shrugging up and a bit backwards. Up and a bit backwards. Try to hold for three seconds all the way down slowly. And one more tip for uh, for shrugs. Some guys are going really heavy on shrugs, but uh, they are doing it very quickly. So they're just like pumping it. So I recommend just go a bit lighter on tracks, focus on tempo, contracting the muscles, all the way down, all the way up, and uh, stop working with your ego by lifting very heavy. As well, one thing in shrug, I see many people they do shrugs and they don't lock their elbows. It really goes really uh, wide open when they shrug. Is it good or bad? What do you mean wide open? Like this? Yeah. Is it breaking the form? I mean, uh, it depends one body to another. So we don't have the same body structure. But for me, still staying on a, from my side. Like a shoulder width works for me. I can feel my traps more. I'll do one more exercise. This one set, the finishing move for the shoulders. I think I just saw this one on one of my videos already. What we're doing here exactly? That is the finishing move. We're targeting all angles of the dust front mid and rear delts front uh, going to the side going down to the rear front open up on top the rear front mid rear 3D delts finisher Till failure, just one set, till failure. So guys, 
Please like and subscribe. Please support more workouts to come. Why you're having a post workout meal? Post workout. So here I have a Dimatize ISO 100. Then I'm mixing five grams of creatine. Five grams. Also have rice cakes, so fast absorbing carbs, like two pieces of rice cakes. Post workout, and after one hour or two hours, I have white rice and the chicken pizza. I won't stop till the end, no.